Now it's a weekend retreat, but once the Dead Sea was the world's first health resort. The strong saline density and mineral content is still known for its medicinal qualities. It is 420 meters below the level of the Mediterranean Sea. It never featured much in biblical history, but scientists believe that it could hold the key to how this region was half a million years ago. This is a big basin, and uh, it filled in portion more than 14 kilometers of sediment, soft sediment. So if you take this hole with 14 kilometers of sediment, you take the height of the mountains on both sides, for in, in Jordan's side, it's almost two kilometers, take, calculate for the erosion, and you come up with the deepest crack on earth. Scientists from seven countries, including Israel and Jordan, as well as the Palestinian Authority, will probe that crack. They are involved in a two and a half million dollar project to extract sediment from 500 meters below the seabed. Findings are expected to peel away the layers of history, revealing seismic activity and weather patterns, knowledge which could help in averting future disasters. And it could also give a unique insight into human migration and evolution in this region. And if we find climatic changes or tectonic events that occurred around the time of these pulses, of this exodus from Africa, then we may be able to tie it into prehistory as well, not just history. The sediment comprising a thin slice of Earth's history will be extracted through a 1,200 metre borehole and the core samples will be mostly sent to Germany for high resolution examination. The deeper they drill, the further back in time they reach and over the next six weeks or so they'll take something like 3,000 samples. The results of some will be known within a day or two, but the main samples showing just how life was here 500,000 years ago could take up to 10 years to analyse. It's a project which is not only about science, but also for those who are participating, it is about saving the planet. Uh, there's so many things that we can learn from it. Anytime we can play a part in that, it's, it's more gratifying than, than wages or, or any kind of uh, uh, financial influence can, can really uh, dictate. Findings may even help save the Dead Sea from dying. Water is receding at the rate of one meter per year. A third of the surface area has disappeared since the 1960s. Nature is posing the questions. Scientists are hoping to find the answers. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, The Dead Sea.